Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about what disc ready means. If you haven't noticed already, there's a lot of unicycles now that are coming up and saying they're disc ready. Um, and we're getting quite a few questions on what this actually means. Basically, the underlying thing is this unicycle has the ability to mount a disc brake. It doesn't come with a disc brake, but you can mount one. So what I've got on the bench here is a 26 Nimbus Muni, and this is one of these disc ready unicycles. So I'm going to just go through all the bits that are in the box and point out what that means. And then all the bits that you're going to need to put a brake onto this unicycle. So the main reason why manufacturers do this is to keep the cost of the unicycle down. So when you first buy the unicycle, it's not really expensive or getting on the price for the more expensive models. Uh, can I just interrupt? Yes, me again. He missed one little point. Why you put disc brakes on unicycles? The main reason you put disc brakes on unicycles is to keep control of the thing. It takes your pressure off your legs. That little bit of resistance slows the wheel down and keeps you in control. Um, if he misses anything else, I'll jump in again, but let's get back to watching him there. So first, the first bit that you'll notice on the frame, so this is a Nimbus Muni frame, is the tab. So I'll just show you a bit closer there. So this tab is already welded onto the frame and this is to hold the brake caliper. Now, if you don't have a tab on your frame, but you have the hub that you can fit a rotor to, you can get a Nimbus de brake mount, which I'll just put a photograph in here. That's a Nimbus de brake mount. And this replaces the bearing holder and makes this bracket. Um, next bit that we need to look at is the wheel. So on this wheel here, I don't know if you can just see that, if I bring that in a little bit closer, there is basically um, a tab for mounting the rotor to, just behind the bearing. This means the hub is already laced up for putting a rotor on. Yep, me again. You forgot to mention as well, you probably noticed in a few of our videos, that they're done in our warehouse. So if you hear any background noise or doors slamming or people walking about, is because it's an active warehouse, there's stuff going on. And that was the post being delivered. So the postman came in and slammed the door and rattled keys and all sorts of stuff. So apologies if you have a bit of background noise and stuff, but it can happen from time to time. Anyway. To do that though, you would have to remove this crank and this bearing, bolt your rotor on, and then put it all back. Um, I've got a great video that our American counterparts did about fitting disc brakes, which I'll just link up here. Um, but for doing that, for taking the crank off, you'll need a crank extractor, like this one. And then to pull the bearing off, you'll need a bearing puller, like this one. And then obviously once you've got your rotor on your wheel, your frames on your wheel and the calipers all bolted up and the hose goes up these nice hose clamps on the frame, it's the lever at the top of the frame is going to need somewhere to go. So obviously this unicycle doesn't come with it, but what you need is um, a lever mount that would bolt on just these two bolts here. I'll put a little photograph here. Of, there's, a, there's a lever mount. Um, it's just a plate with a bar welded to it for your lever to bolt onto, and that would screw at the bottom of the saddle. Um, and other than that, that's about what disc ready means, that the unicycle is set up to accept a disc brake, but it just doesn't have one. Um, what I'll do in the description is I'll put a list of the items that you would need to fit a disc brake to this unicycle. Um, that would be like the, the disc brake itself that needs to be an IS mount, not a post mount the leather mount and all the other bits that you're going to need. Um, okay, this will be the last time I interrupt, I promise. But um, one thing you did forget to mention is rotors. Um, unicycles, just the way they're manufactured, work best with 180 mil rotors and up over. Um, this is basically the standard across the board. Um, I do know some of the KH unicycles come with 203 or 205 rotors but they have the correct IS bracket to match the rotor. That's something to sort of keep in mind. So if you if you buy a unicycle, oh, I'm gonna upgrade the size of my rotor, you need to get the right adapter to match your rotor. Um, here's a little picture of the 181. 
um, and you can see written 180 on that rotor, so or that mount, I should say. So obviously, if you're getting a bigger rotor, get the right mount, and you should be good. That's the last time I'm interrupting, I promise. Other than that, if you've got any questions about fitting disc brakes, or this unicycle, or any other product we've got in the store, stick it in the comments below. Or if you need something a bit more urgent, drop us an email. Um, and other than that, thanks for watching, guys.